All right. In the last lecture, we pulled 18 movies from the movies database API, and then we exported and saved the data in a JSON file. And that's uh, the best practice since the data was pulled in JSON format. And we have seen that the, the data is to some extent nested. So for instance, in the genre column, and uh, the JSON format is the best equipped to handle nested data. And in contrast to that, the pandas data frames and also flat files like uh, text or CSV files are really good in handling uh, tabular data, but uh, they are pretty limited when it comes to handling nested data. And uh, now in this lecture, we are starting uh, with our freshly imported uh, movies uh, data frame uh, DF. And uh, still we have nested data in the columns genre and uh, belongs to collection and more. And uh, now we don't export and save the data in a JSON file, but in a CSV file. And that's definitely not uh, the best solution as we will see in the next uh, case on uh, cleaning messy data. However, that's uh, real life. So I wouldn't call exporting a nested data frame into a CSV file bad practice. It's uh, just a real world scenario. And I don't want to say most of the time, but uh, people often, or at least sometimes, uh, don't do things in the best or most efficient way. And afterwards, it takes a lot of time and effort to fix uh, the problems, but that's our day-to-day -day business. So now let's export our data frame uh, to a CSV file, movies, raw dot, uh, CSV with uh, two CSV, and uh, we drop uh, the range index. And now let's again uh, re-import uh, the data from the CSV file. And at a first glance, uh, there is uh, no difference, but let's have a closer look here into the nested uh, column genre. And also here at a first glance, uh, this uh, looks okay, but now let's have a look at uh, the very first element. And uh, here we can see now that uh, this is not a list, but a string. So when importing a list or any other Python uh, data collection uh, from a CSV file, then uh, pandas uh, cannot handle this and it automatically uh, uh, assumes and uh, creates a string. And uh, this causes many problems as we will see in the next case on uh, cleaning data. So thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next case. Bye.